Video 14 is grouping layers. Sometimes when you have a lot of layers, you need to group them. So what we're going to do is create some layers, group them, and show you a few things you need to know. What we're going to do right here is on the bottom layer, I'm going to go to the Fill Bucket tool and tap on the canvas. Then I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go to the Pen tool, go to Black, Paint an Eye. Then I want to paint the pupil, but I want to go down to here, create a new one so it's in between. Now I'm going to just color this in. Maybe make this a little smoother. And I don't really want it black, so what I'm going to do is do the lock transparency, go to a blue, go to the chalk, and color it in. Now because I locked the transparency, I can go all the way around and it's not going to go anywhere but where this is. Now I think I'll go to a little bit of green and put a little green in it. Now I want to give these a name so I'm going to click here and set layer name and I'm going to call this pupil and click OK and go up here and just do the layer name and call it I and click OK and then between the pupil and the eye I want to do well actually I want to change this to the iris so I'm going to click on the name and change this to iris and click OK then I want to click a new layer and it's in between the two again I'm going to go to a black and make the pupil now remember this is not good I'm just showing you the different layers for right now and from here I want to go to a white I'm going to click control Z because I don't like that up this a little bit control Z again and then put it out here now let's give this one a name and put pupil and click OK. It's good to name your layers because it makes it easier later. Now I want to go up to this one and do a new layer and let's make some eyelashes. Okay, it doesn't look great but it's it'll do for now. In order to group the layers, go down here, make sure this one's highlighted, and say Add Layer Group. And you're going to see this group and with this little thing underneath it. Well, nothing is in the group yet, so what I'm going to do is just click on this one, and you see that little black arrow by the right hand side be goes between the lines. I go to there and let up and you can see that this one is in. Now let's take this one up and let up. It's now got this underneath it which means the end of the group. I'm going to bring this one up and put it in and I'm going to bring this one up and look at the arrow on the right, the little black arrow, and let go. And I'm going to leave the background out. So when I click on this, I've just got the group and the background. Now with this menu, I can either make the group visible or not. Let's make it visible again. Let's expand the group. 
or close the group. We can set the group name. If I click on this, I'm now setting the group name, which is I, and click OK. So it's been named, and if you had a bunch of them, like eye, nose, mouth, you can see where this is going. Now let's open this again, and we can set the group opacity. If I want to bring this down to 50, I can, and click OK. And it makes it go really light. Let's bring it back. Click OK. And we can add blend modes if we want. We can add a layer to the group. Let's do that. And it goes right here. Now what you can do is if you want it on top of the eye is just click on the canvas part here and go above it and let go. Then it's up here. I'm going to transform the group contents. So I'm going to click on it. And the entire eye, even though it's on separate layers, is transformed. So I can make it smaller. And I can click out of it. And I can duplicate the group. Let's do that. I just click on it. Now remember I'm in this menu part. So now I have I copy. If we close this and close this, you'll see that I have the I and the I copy. But you can't really tell on here. So what I do is click here and I transform group contents. On the I copy, I can move it over. Let's get rid of this so you can see it better. And then I'm going to just press H to flip it horizontally. I'm going to do an up arrow so it becomes even. And I have now two eyes without having to try and paint the left eye. That's so cool. Now let's see what else we want to do. We can merge the group contents. Okay, let's merge them. And you'll see the group went away and it merged all of the eye. Now let's go to undo, because I don't want to really do that. And let's see what else we have. We can delete the group. So let's delete the group. And it's now gone. Let's do the undo and bring it back. And that's how easy it is to group layers. Now in the next video, we're going to be talking about stencils.